Tommy Carpensi defeats Chad Dawson on a 10 round split decision. That's right, Chad Dawson has lost again. And if the name Tommy Carpensi rings a bell, he's a guy who actually lost to Nathan Cleverly a few years ago. And Cleverly beat him soundly. He literally schooled Carpensi, didn't even lose a round in that fight. And that same Carpensi who was schooled by Cleverly was here beating Chad Dawson tonight. Dawson, I think, was really damaged by the losses to Andre Ward and Adonis Stevenson. And he looked uh, a shell of himself in there against Tommy Carpensi. It has to be said though, Chad Dawson did damage his hand, his left hand, midway through the fight. And I'm sure he will argue and other people may argue that that was the uh, deciding factor and why Chad Dawson actually lost this fight. But the fact is, Chad Dawson is a converted southpaw. His dominant hand, his most powerful hand has always been his right hand. And he supposedly injured his left hand. So even though it's always a handicap to fight one-handed. In Chad Dawson's case. Because he's a converted southpaw. His lead hand, his strong hand is still out in front of him. So he can still stay busy with his strong hand. So a, a guy at the level of Tommy Carpensi. If you're a world class light heavyweight. You should be able to beat him with one hand. Especially if you're a guy who is as technically sound and gifted as Chad Dawson as, and as experienced as he, as he is. And the hand that you've injured is not your main hand that you use the mo you know, most often and it's not your most powerful hand. You should still be able to deal with a guy like Tommy Carpensi. Chad Dawson wasn't able to. Like I say, I think those losses to Ward and Stevenson really damaged him. And I don't think he's ever going to be the same again. But that's boxing. It's... No, it's, it's easy to get all sentimental about these things, but at the end of the day, fighters all have a shelf life. Okay, Every fighter eventually is going to become over the hill. Some sooner than, sooner than others. Not everyone can be Bernard Hopkins. You know, Many a great fighter have, have burned out quickly. So, Chad Dawson, I think he's only 31 or 32 years of age now, which in relative terms is, is pretty young. I mean, the other champions at light heavyweight are all older than Chad Dawson. I mean, not that Chad Dawson's a champion at the moment, but you know what I'm saying? The, the champions are like heavyweight are all, all older than him. Actually, no, no, tell a lie. Uh, I believe Kovalev is the same age or a year younger, but Hopkins is obviously older and Adonis Stevenson is older than him. So, yeah, um, looks like Chad Dawson's career is definitely over. This was probably the final nail in the coffin. But if you feel different, then let me know in the comment section below. Maybe you think there's a chance he can do something or move up to cruiserweight or I don't know, do whatever. Um, yeah, let me know how you feel. This is Hatman, I'm out.